people out there. Margaret told me she saw a cheerleader kill a bunch of scabs, then steal their stuff. You're telling me to be careful because of cheerleaders? Well, more like cheerleader assassins. Right. You know, tell Margaret to take a break from the comic books. where I can find some high-end computer parts? Computer parts? Nope. You sure? Yep. Oh, no! There's a guy that lives in a cell phone tower nearby. He's got a ton of computers. <laughs> Almost forgot. That's what I thought. I'll check it out. How do I get over there? Watch yourself up there. Been hearing a lot of gunfire coming from up in that treehouse. Some people say there's a crazy hillbilly up there who'll shoot anything that moves. Sounds like a walking cliche. Man, we're all walking cliches in somebody's eyes. Now, if I was a tree-dwelling hillbilly, where would I keep my computer parts? Gotcha, you disco some bitch. I'm not from Fisco. What do I look like? An asshole? Well, maybe not a Fisco asshole. But I'm gonna shoot you anyway, just to be sure. Wait, listen, I'm not Fisco. I'm just here to steal computer parts from you. How'd you think you were gonna do that when I got this here gun? Yeah, I got guns too. Damn. But how do I know you can use them? I'm an American. I can use a cocky son of a bitch like you. Looks good on camera. I need footage for my new show. Get out there and show me what you can do. And don't worry about dying. That looks good on camera, too. Thanks. Because I wasn't already creeped out enough by you. Well, I got cameras all over that warehouse down there. If you're as good as you say, we should get some great footage. Sweet. I always wanted to star in the Redneck Running Man. Keep moving. 
are on the table. I got my Bucky's perched in blinds all over the city. Camera's ready to roll. Just find them and do what you do. You'll be paid back in time. Get off my lawn. See here. And we're off. 
Hey, if you do find a way out of the city, you'll come back and rescue us, right? Come back? To Sunset City? Why would I... Of course you'll come back and save us. You're you. I'm sorry. I don't even know why I questioned it. <clears throat> so this will take a few hours to finish. Uh, I'll let you know when it's done. Hey, man. It's Floyd. I'm ready for another cook. Come on back when you're ready. Copy that, science guy. Hey, looks like you got all the ingredients we need. Don't lose them on the way back. That look, that style, it's utterly you. outside the base. I ran out of time setting them up. Can you finish the job for me? Set up a few more hack and slay traps around that barricade. Get out to the front of the base. I've been messing around with some trap designs. Just uploaded the plans for a new trap to your phone. A full magazine makes the world a brighter place. My guns are like my children. I build them, I love them, and I sell them at a good price. <laughs> Come back soon, okay? But not too soon, though. Don't make it all weird. Hack and slay traps will chop up any OD that get near it. Those 
Hack and slay traps won't hurt you. Don't worry. I just uploaded the fling board trap to your phone. This trap will send enemies back to where they came from. Be sure to point it away from the base. You gotta keep an eye on your power usage. Each time you place a trap, it will use up some power. When we're out, we're out. You can always remove traps to get power back. Keep an eye on your traps. The OD can destroy them. If a trap is destroyed, you'll get power back. Power grid is at max capacity. Place as many traps as you can. These traps should be good for tonight, but we'll need better ones soon. I'm no engineer. Or am I? Well, there might be other survivors out there who know how to build better traps. So look around when you're out in the city. When you're done placing traps, turn that valve and we'll get down to business. All right, way to use up all that energy. If you want some energy back, you can just pick up any trap you already placed. Thank <laughs> you. 
better. Let me know how those amps work out for you.
guy, his, I, th I think his name's Walter, he came in, said he knows you, so I gave him your propeller. Wait, what? He looked kind of pissed. Yeah, that's Walter. Hey, kid. Nice try with the propeller, but you fucked it up. Meet me at the overpass. God damn it. Working my ass off to repair this thing, then you go behind my back and make a new propeller. You looking to steal my glider? No, it wasn't like that. I. I'm fucking with you, kid. Can't you see me smiling? Ha ha. It's a fine propeller. We're almost ready to fly out of here. The only problem is, a few minutes ago, some scabs stumbled across the glider. I held them off, but they stole my glide wheel. Glide wheel? Sounds made up. Well, how about you make yourself up a way to get it back? And hurry, those scabs will be back soon. I'll wait here. I saw the scabs heading towards the amphitheater, down by the waterfront. scabs. Wonder where that glide wheel is. Target 
Head over to the brewery. We can use the smokestack updraft to give us enough of a boost to escape. Good to know, thanks. Anything else? I fitted this thing with some weapons. Give them a try. the ship.
Uploading virus now. Everybody pray to the C++ gods. It works! The shields are down! The patrol ship shields are down! Shoot it! Come on, kids. Shoot down the ship. You're all clear, kid. Take the shot. Slow. Also, thank you. My pleasure. Just don't forget about me. I mean, us. Don't worry, we'll send help as soon as we get out of the city. We'll miss you, you cranky motherfucker. I'm sorry, Floyd. I just wish I could have saved him. Best thing you can do is keep being yourself. Keep that swagger going. Cool? Yeah. Hey, Walter talked about this guy. Named Brill Cream. Says he was the smartest guy around. You find that guy, I bet he'll figure out how to escape the city. Brill Cream? What kind of a name is that? One that's easy to remember, I guess. Anyway, Walter said there was ham radio signals coming from a Japanese museum nearby. Might be him. You should check it out. Thank <laughs> you. 